What's up, motherfuckers? It's radio icon and Howard Stern protege, Medley Mandigo III. Check out my stream on twitch.tv forward slash cluster F show. Or you could listen to Blunt Trips. Get it? Blunt Trips? Get it? Good, because I don't. I mean, it sounds pretty fucking cool, but don't be fooled. It's really just a fucking long-haired, burnt-out stoner who does cemetery porn for potheads. So if you want to listen to some really cool music while this gorded out of his mind asshole pontificates about fucking mausoleums, you're in luck. So sit back, get baked, and prepare to not be dazzled by this out of gas, toked up, long haired piece of shit. Personally, I would rather overdose on fentanyl while a pit bull gnaws on my testicle. But hey, maybe you're a masochist who's sitting in your mom's basement wearing a leather zipper mask and jacking off the granny porn. So enjoy, you bastards. Oh, hell no. What you mean this motherfucker communicates with the dead? I'm only making $5 for this voiceover, and that's not enough for me to go to hell. Y'all motherfuckers can find someone else to do his intro, because I'm getting the fuck out of here. Terry here from Blunt Trips, coming to you from the Blunt Trip Studios here in Aurora, Colorado. And I'm getting this microphone out of my face first thing so I don't look like I'm giving it a blowjob. What is going on, people? It's the weekend edition, and first of all, that was Mike Waters doing my intro there at the beginning. Uh, introduced himself as Nedley Mandingo. Uh, that's one of my favorite radio broadcasters, actually. Uh, been listening to that guy for over 20 years. And uh, if you ever into some humor and you just want to laugh, uh, go check out his channel on Twitch TV uh, slash Cluster F Show. Uh, it's definitely a great show if you like parodies and just want to laugh and have a good time. That guy's got one of the best shows on it on Twitch. And moving on to this weekend's edition, I'm going to try and make this one at least 10 minutes, the best I can anyways. Uh, so I've picked a few topics. Uh, this week I'm just going to stick around in the studio. And uh, talk about a few things I had going on this week. Uh, I know I'm late. I'm sorry. My, I got this beard. I got to go trim, man. It's getting a little long. Um, but anyways, uh, a couple things are happening to me this week I was going to tell you guys about. And uh, hopefully this vlog will pull in some numbers. Uh, I'm going to try something different. I do have some new shows coming up for Friday. Some new content coming up soon. So hopefully you guys uh, will stick around on Fridays. Uh, the weekend. I know I've been running behind the past two weeks to get them out on Saturday, but uh, it's just the way things have been going. Uh, working two jobs and stuff. I am super busy. Uh, I'm getting to it as fast as I can. I'm not making excuses. Uh, I will get back to getting them dropped on Friday by next week. But anyways, the first thing I want to talk about uh, this week, um, in the studio, uh, you know, I, I got a studio here that you're out here for, uh, paying 1900 bucks a month for uh, it's a pretty good size it's huge it's it's definitely big um, uh, as you can see the this part of the, the building alone you could uh, you probably fit like four couches in here easily easily four couches it's it's just massive in fact the other half of the room isn't even done yet we're still adding to the studio um, moving stuff from upstairs but anyways, uh, we just hired a Mexican lady, uh, really cool lady, uh, to do some cleaning around here. And uh, she doesn't quite know what this place is. Um, I don't even know if she speaks uh, English for that matter. And I don't speak Spanish, uh, as I mentioned in last week's episode, or earlier this week. But um, we got this Mexican lady, she came out, and actually I think it's a team. I'm not sure, because it was two of them this week. And they don't know what this place is. I think they think it's a grow facility or something um, because they come in here all the time and they clean the place. But the only one, there, the only room they can't come into is the studio here. Uh, they know this is off limits, so I think they think that they're cleaning actually a grow facility because when they come in here, it constantly smells like marijuana. Um, you know, got the Rottweiler running around here. I do bring my Rottweiler to the studio often. I'll get to that here in a minute and tell you why. 
But uh, I think this lady actually thinks she's cleaning her grow facility at this point. So I don't know how much longer she's going to be cleaning here. But the reason why I'm telling you about this is because I have never seen somebody clean so good in my life. This place is spotless. In fact, I'm thinking about bringing her over to my house and have her clean there. But just amazing, man. Uh, you know, I, like I said, I bring my Rottweiler here to the studio. And I, I am a clean person myself. You can see behind me, I try and keep things organized. Uh, I don't even like wires. In fact, I got people that are supposed to be coming in here and handling this soon, or I'm going to do something about it. But, um, anyways, this lady even cleans up dog hairs in the corner that I, I miss. I was just shocked how well she cleans. Amazing job. Hopefully she sticks it out, so I may have to tell her exactly what this building is so that she don't think it's a grow facility and quit on me. Anyways, <laughs> speaking of grow facilities and stuff like that, and why I had the Rottweiler here, uh, the other day, I, I'm in the studio sometimes till like 3, 4 in the morning. Sometimes I come in here around 3 or 4 in the morning. It just depends on my schedule, uh, working two jobs and stuff. But I, um, the other morning I was leaving out of here, and it was about 6 in the morning, 5.36 in the morning. And I opened the door, and Denver is loaded, loaded with uh, heroin addicts and homeless. There is a lot, especially uh, towards the main streets. And I don't want to give up the location where the studio is at, for sure. Because I don't need people coming here all the time bothering me when I'm trying to get in and out, uh, getting videos uh, uploaded and edited and stuff. But... Uh, it is by a main street, and this street that we're by has a lot of uh, homeless and heroin addicts. Anyways, I opened the door the other day, and on the staircase going up out of this building, because this one, this, uh, the part I'm in is like nine feet underground. And when I open it up, there's a, a dude on heroin passed out on the stairs. And I, I couldn't get the dude up. I'm sitting there. I'm, <laughs> I, I bring my run while here because of that, you know. I bring the Rottweiler, there's security here in the building, as well as, I won't get into it because I don't want my um, video pulled, but th we're, we're well secure here, um, just to say that. But I open the door, and this guy's passed out, and my Rottweiler, he's about 100 pounds, he's jumping on this dude, and this dude's not waking up, I'm thinking he's dead at this point. Um, a hundred pound wet well, he's not biting him, but like he's pounding on him, jumping on his chest, his, his balls, everything. This, his, how this dude didn't move or flinch or something is beyond me. Anyways, um, some people are walking down the street and they hear it and they're over here. They're like popping the dude in the head, like trying to wake him up and stuff. He finally wakes up and uh, the dude gets mad at me for waking him up to get off the stairs so I can get out of the studio and go to work. I just couldn't believe it, man. So... It helped me decide, that when I seen that, at the same time I was looking for content, and I have been thinking about doing a show uh, about this guy I know who's a recovering addict and doing really well. So they just went hand in hand. Uh, after seeing this guy pass out on the stairs and stuff, and he, him get mad at me for waking him up and asking him to move so I can go to work. And then uh, knowing somebody who was bad on drugs, not so much heroin, but other drugs, and who's doing so well, I decided that Next Friday, I'm going to go ahead and do my first interview uh, with somebody who's a recovering drug addict. And uh, I thought that would be cool because long term, I don't want to just cover deaths, homicides, and graves. Uh, that is the main focus of this channel, uh, its main content, but I do like to expand in other, uh, in other fields. And with that said, next Friday's episode will be an interview with somebody who is doing very well who was recovered from drugs, he did it through faith. Now, I'm not a very religious person myself, but whatever you find um, to get you through the day and it works, so be it, man. And if he wants to come on here and talk about his religion or whatever it did, that's fine by me. So next Friday, I will be bringing somebody on to talk about how he recovered from drugs and how he's doing now. And maybe he, somebody... Uh, watching this show is having the same issue and he can help them i don't know i don't know who watches my show and uh what habits you guys have but that'll be next week's episode all right now i don't know i debated about this next topic uh, uh, for about two days now and i'm not sure if i should talk about it or not but i'm going to because this channel is uncensored 
and it's balls to the wall. We don't hold nothing back. So that's why I decided to go ahead and go with this. Now I'm not going to throw names out and stuff, but I've tried to contact one in particular YouTuber. Um, and he's ignored me. Now I know he watches the show, and I'll get into that in just a minute. Or I know he watches this channel. And, uh, and I know he's gotten my messages because he actually contacted me once, but I have two phones. Uh, two phones, and there was uh, miscommunication because he contacted me with one. I switched SIM cards around uh, with my phones. They're identical phones. Uh, so I switched SIM cards around, uh, and he called me on another number, and when I responded, there was some confusion. But since then, I've, I've tried to contact this, this YouTuber, this vlogger, and he's totally ignored me, but he's copied a few ideas from this channel. So I know he's watching this this channel, and I know that uh, some of my content is good enough for him or for his attention, but not my text. So, again, I won't drop names, but this individual now is wanting to start doing interviews by gravesides after my episode of uh, Last Man Out, uh, where I interviewed... Um, Dustin's mother uh, by the graveside. Since then, this individual wants to now start doing graveside interviews, which is fine because if I'm doing content that works, this getting his attention, maybe eventually he'll answer my text. Uh, this individual also, after I started using Casey in a couple episodes, because uh, you know I did start out this channel pretty rough with some um, rough intros that some people didn't appreciate, so I brought Casey and my daughter along. Uh, to do some episodes and after that the same individual brought his baby's mother along to, to do an episode of his you were barely able to hear her because she was whispering but uh, you know and i'm not mad with this individual it's just you know if, if if my channel's good enough for you to copy my content why won't you at least answer my text uh, i was trying to do an episode i'm trying i'm trying to work out a special halloween episode for you guys uh with this individual and uh I guess he just don't take me serious when it, when it comes to my text. But with that said, there was a couple other things that he has copied since then. Uh, and I'm not going to get into all of them. But uh, with that said, just keep in mind, I am trying to put together a, a special show for you guys for Halloween. I've been asked to do a live show. I have contacted a couple vloggers. I've, um, I've contacted a few locations. I just want to make sure that whatever show I put out for Halloween, uh, that I do live, if I go live, is going to be something that people click on. Um, a lot of people do the live shows so that you'll donate money to them, and that's not what this channel's about. Uh, this channel does cost me a lot of money, but again, I have two jobs. Both pay very, very well, and I use some of that money as for my hobby, which is this channel. Uh, with that said, I'm not so much worried about the live shows because... A lot of people do them just so they can get your donations on the GoFundMe or whatever. But, anyways, so I am trying to put together a Halloween show for you guys. Um, other than that, uh, I think that's going to about do it here in the studios. Again, uh, at the beginning there, that was uh, Mike Waters. He's a great radio personality. Uh, he's been on the Howard Stern channel, Power 101. Uh, he's also been on another very uh, highly popular show, but I won't mention the name because there there was some controversy on that show, uh, and the two of them don't work together anymore. But if you do want to check out uh, Mike Waters' show, he's on uh, Twitch TV slash uh, Cluster F Show, and be sure to check him out. Uh, there's a lot of great parody stuff on there. That Ned character is huge in the Tampa area. It's huge. Uh, actually, nationally, he used it when he was on the Howard uh, 101 channel. And he does a lot of great parodies. If you know, if I had to pick any one person that was on radio that would make me actually tune into an FM station, uh, it was him. Uh, other than that, I never even listened to FM radio. This guy is amazing, and if you want to laugh, if you're having a bad day, definitely go check him out. Once again, that's uh, Twitch TV uh, slash Cluster F Show. All right, I think that's going to do it for me here in the studios. Uh, I don't quite get 10 minutes, but uh, maybe I can dig in the vault and find um, find something that I can put out there. I think there's a couple of unique graves that I've seen uh, that I'll slap on the end of this video for you guys to check out. But uh, 
Next week I will have an interview for you guys, so bear with me on Fridays. Uh, Monday I do have an uns unsolved homicide coming up, I believe. I'm not sure what exactly they're going to put out uh, as far as the production team, but on my end I believe it's an uns unsolved homicide. And uh, also on Wednesday I believe we're finally going to get out to uh, um, Parker Cemetery. Uh, oh, also, one other thing. I do want to tell you guys about two products. Uh, and these are not sponsored products. They're just something that, you know, they're products that I enjoy that I figure I'd tell you guys about. Um, now, usually I don't like mango, especially mango blunts. Mango blunts are the worst. They're the only flavor I usually won't get when it comes to blunts. And I don't like Pepsi. Uh, I'm not a Pepsi drinker. Um, if I did drink soda, it's Coke products. But Pepsi's mango... This one right here, if you can see it. Uh, this drink is amazing, man. I haven't stopped drinking these since, they've, since I've tried the first one. This is all I drink now. And again, this ain't sponsored. I just want to tell you guys, if you if you like mango-flavored stuff and if you like Pepsi, definitely check out the Pepsi Mango. That's definitely a kick-ass drink. And also, one other product I do want to tell you guys about, and this one isn't sponsored either. There's two of them. Uh, if you guys or if familiar with hotspots, people use them a lot on their phone. Uh, well, I've been trying using hotspots for this channel for the past three weeks, almost a month now. Um, I've used two different services. I've used AT&T uh, hotspot and I've used um, Simple Mobile hotspot and I've compared the two. And both are kick-ass. Now, AT&T has an amazing deal. If you have kids or grandkids, and you need something for the car for their tablets or something AT&T they have a hotspot right now uh, you can get a hundred gigs for fifty five dollars uh, it's an amazing deal it is um, and I've used it actually for the past three weeks for this channel I've used nothing but hotspots for both my downloads and uploads and both are amazing now um, as far as deals AT&T has a hundred gigs for uh, fifty five dollars you can't beat that although with being a YouTuber, I, I would upload I upload 80 gigs about every week and a half or so, so I use a lot more than what the average person does. The other one is Simple Mobile. They offer a deal for $50, you can get 40 gigs. Now it's not as much, but for the average user, 40 gigs will get you by if you're just basically watching YouTube and stuff like that. Now if you're watching um, high quality video like um, Netflix and stuff knows you're gonna burn through it quick but for YouTube and stuff for the kids the simple mobile had a plan for $50 you got 40 gigs and its upload was like three times if not four times faster than the AT&T's and I only know that because when it rained here I switched over to simple mobile to try their upload and that's actually why I'm late it rained yesterday and AT&T was out for hours while I was waiting to do an upload uh, so, uh, I tried the Simple Mobile, and that one was amazing. Unfortunately, the video I went to upload didn't have something I wanted to include, which was that intro at the beginning, so I redid the whole video anyways. But, if you want fast speeds, Simple Mobile has it. Um, for $50, you get 40 gigs. It's great for the kids in the back seat. If you go on vacation, and hotels don't have Wi-Fi or whatever, uh, it's, it's great to use. Uh, it definitely works. It picks up. It, I haven't long dropped a signal anywhere I've been so far in the Denver area. Uh, AT&T, uh, I did drop signal twice when it rained, um, but for $55, you can't beat it at 100 gigs. I mean, especially if you have backup internet and you're only using it for like in the car or something. So if you guys are in the hot spots and you don't want to lag on your phone or your phone being used, uh, both AT&T and Simple Mobile uh, have great solutions at affordable prices at $50 and $55. So check them out. And again, that wasn't sponsored. I'm not paid to tell you guys about that product. I'm just telling you because they are products uh, that I have used and both of them I enjoy as well as the Pepsi. But, uh, oh look, I actually did make it almost to 10 minutes of talking. So I think I can actually wrap this episode up and everybody should be happy that I didn't keep it too short. Don't forget, next Monday I will be covering an unsolved homicide, as well as Wednesday's Grave Tour Radio will be going out to Parker Cemetery. 
I believe it's Parker Cemetery. Don't quote me on that. I do not know exactly what the editing and production team will be releasing, but I believe it is uh, Parker Cemetery. Um, or maybe it was Littleton. Uh, again, don't quote me on that. It may be Littleton Cem Cemetery that is being released on Monday. But uh, until next week, I'm going to go ahead and head on out of the studios and go spend some time with my daughter. It is the weekend, and uh, I want to enjoy the weekend with her. So until next week... Y'all stay cool. Are you tired and ready to just go home and burn one, but have to break it down and roll it first? Now you can avoid the weight and manual labor and have that fatty ready to puff like it's life support. With Turtle Rolls a Dub, never come home and never have to roll your own brain banger again. Turtle Rolls a Dub crams two grams of high grade into that bomb, leaving you spelling your girlfriend's name backwards. If you're tired of rolling your own blunt and just want to come home and smoke like a king, try Turtle Rolls a Dub and let the Turtle Crew leave you cross-eyed. Turtle Rolls a Dub is the official rolling crew of blunt trips, and now they are offering their services to you. Turtle Rolls a Dub also rolls for such artists as MC Forgot My Stash and DJ Don't Bogart My Blunt. Call your local Turtle Rolls a Dub today and get your fatty roll by the pros who know when you want to smoke. Turtle Rolls a Dub. We don't blow smoke up your ass. Turtle Rolls a Dub is only available in legal states and is not an actual company. Need another hit? Check out our website at blunttrips.info.